To write the Lewis structure for NaNO3, we first need to realize this is an ionic compound. We have a metal, sodium, and then we have this polyatomic ion, this nitrate ion, which is a group of nonmetals. So when you have a metal and nonmetals, that's an ionic compound, and they behave differently. Normally, when we're doing Lewis structures, we're sharing electrons between the atoms. In an ionic compound, that sodium is going to transfer one of its electrons to the nitrate. So the way we need to show this is, we'll put our sodium right here. That's the Na+. Plus. It's plus because it loses an electron, and the brackets help show that it has lost that electron. And then we need to do a Lewis structure for the nitrate ion. I won't draw it in this video. You can see in the description there is a link to a video where I do draw the NO3 minus Lewis structure. But uh, it looks like this. It's negative, and because it's negative, it's attracted to the positive. So that's why we have an ionic bond. The positive and the negative are attracted. So this is the Lewis structure for NaNO3. Just need to realize that it is an ionic compound, and we have to do a little bit differently with the charges. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for NaNO3, and thanks for watching.